What's going on everybody? Seth Bessie, VersaFit. Listen, I want to give you guys a quick tip, a quick little key to help you be happier and healthier throughout your day. This helps me every single day I use this. Um, it's an exercise called diaphragmatic breathing. It's essentially just a breathing exercise to help you kind of come down to a, a uh, parasympathetic nervous system state where you are essentially resting and digesting, you're relaxing, you're getting into a Zen mindset. Um, I do this right before I meditate every time to help me kind of wind down, help you relax through the shoulders and the neck. Um, and especially if I'm feeling just particularly stressed throughout the day, I'll utilize this. I mean, I use it every day no matter what, but if I'm feeling super stressed, I'll take 10 minutes out of my day and just sit and relax and try to breathe for a minute and use this technique. So if that sounds like something that you would utilize, you can use it anywhere. You can use it when you're working out, you can use it while you're running, you can use it at the desk, at your work desk, you can use it while you're taking care of your kids. No matter what you're doing, you can utilize this technique to help you unwind let loose in some of that stress and um, really just like get back into that meditative meditative zen mindset so um, how you do di diaphragmatic breathing what a lot of people do when they breathe naturally is we breathe in through our mouth we're a bunch of mouth breathers especially because we're congested because we eat too much crap um, but a lot of people breathe in through their mouth and they breathe straight into their chest so when i breathe if i stand to the side and show you a lot of people breathe and their their body autonomy looks like this they breathe in and their chest lifts and everything up here gets tight and you don't realize it but each and every day you're taking thousands of breaths throughout the day and every breath that you take is getting you a little more tighter up in here because i'm breathing into my chest and then i'm letting go on into the chest and I'm letting go. And so I'm creating a lot of tightness and a lot of stress here. And that's why when you're exercising and you're running and you're mouth breathing, it's like, it's, it's a stressful state for your body to be in. And when you breathe like that all day long, you put your body into your sympathetic nervous system, ready to run away from a predator or whatever it may be. You're not in a state to be able to sit down and relax. And that's really where you want to be if you're looking for good cardiovascular health and just overall well being. So, Diaphragmatic breathing, if I were to stand to the side, what diaphragmatic breathing looks like is an inhale through the nose for six seconds and an exhale through either the nose or the mouth for six seconds. And what I'm gonna do, instead of breathing into my chest, like I lift here and come back down, I'm gonna breathe straight into my belly, okay? So if I stand to the side, you're gonna be able to see my stomach expand and come back in rather than my chest coming up and come back down. So it's gonna look like this. And as I exhale, I wanna bring my belly button back in towards my spine, tighten the abs a little bit. But as I inhale, I'm expanding in the stomach and bringing it back down. That may be very hard for a lot of people to do standing because of gravity and the pressure that you're gonna have. So if you have a hard time with that, whether you're not exercising or whether you just don't have that lung capacity, if you have a hard time with that, I always recommend that people start on the ground where you don't have so, you're not in such a stressful position like standing. So I'm gonna start on the ground here. And I always recommend that you put one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. And that's gonna give you a great tell of what is moving. If my chest is moving too much, I may be breathing in for too long or too much oxygen. I only wanna to fill to about 80% of my lung capacity and then come back down and again, bring that belly button in towards the spine. So I'm gonna breathe straight into the stomach, I'm here. and only the stomach should move. If I'm breathing in and I feel that, and I feel my, sh I start shrugging my shoulders and my chest gets tight and I lift through the neck, then I'm doing it incorrectly. Try breathing slower, not breathing quite as long and just taking small breaths into the stomach and out. And I, typically, ideally, I would like to breathe in for six seconds, out for six seconds and repeat. Now, if I'm feeling stressed throughout my day, I'll take, like I said, I'll take 10 minutes, I'll do that, and it's amazing how much it helps you unwind. It actually is proven to increase HRV, which is one of the best tells that we have of cardiovascular health and overall well-being and your body's ability to respond to stress when stress does happen. So if your HRV is high, which is what we need, which is what that diaphragmatic breathing is going to help with, if the HRV is high, I'm going to respond to stress even better than I would if my HRV is low. So that's one of those exercises that just helps you stay primed. I use it every single day, almost all day long, especially during meditations. 
And honestly, it is one of those things that has significantly improved my life. It's made me, made me happier, made me healthier. And that's what we're all about here with VersaFit. So listen, thank you guys so much for paying attention. Thank you for listening. If you like the video, please smack that like button. And if you are interested in all of these upcoming videos where I'm talking more about diaphragmatic breathing, more about breathing exercises, nutrition, exercise, everything under the realm of health, then please subscribe to the channel. Send it off to a friend that you think might be interested in the same stuff as well. Thanks guys so much. Have a great day. Okay.